Then a cloud appeared and envelope, enveloped them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son whom I love. Listen to him. The father said, the father said, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. Do you believe the father came down on the Mount of Transfiguration in a cloud and that Peter, James, and John heard the father speak audibly, speak and say, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. Do you believe God did that? No, but, no, and I say no, why. The Bible teach no one have heard or seen God. No lying. one know his form. And who you you saying the three apostles they heard what the God you're, saying? You're yeah, yeah. That's I'm not the, lying. I'm not lying. I know the verse. Can I tell you the verse? Yeah. I'll tell you what you're quoting. I know what you're quoting. I'm not like you. I know the word of God. You don't. You're quoting John 5 37. Yeah, yeah. I don't have my notes. You have notes that you took from a website. You're lying because you don't understand what Jesus said. Let me read it. Let me show you why you're lying. The Father himself who has sent me has borne witness of me. Now notice again, you have neither heard his voice at any time nor seen his form. Jesus didn't say no one ever have heard the voice of the Father or seen him. He's talking to the unbelievers. He's saying you unbelievers standing before me, you have not seen his form or heard his voice. Stop misquoting the Bible to me, Yahya. Please, for the love of God, you're going to get embarrassed. The same gospel of John, John 12, 28 to 30. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven saying, I have glorified it. A voice from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that stood by and heard it said that it had thundered. Others said, an angel has spoken to him. Jesus answered, this voice came not for my sake, but for your sake. So, Yahya, you're a liar. That's not what John 5, 37 says. Or I'll be nice to you. You're an ignoramus. You don't know what the Bible says. Jesus did not say, Yahya, no one ever heard his voice or seen a shape. He's talking to those people in front of him. You, unbelievers, you have never seen a shape or heard his voice. Now that I corrected your shameless distortion of John 5, 37. Do you agree with Mark 9, verse 7, that the Father came down in a cloud and the apostles Peter, James, and John heard the Father say, this is my son whom I love, listen to him. Yes or no, Yahya? No. Thank you. So why are you quoting Mark to prove that Jesus isn't God when Mark destroys your religion and Muhammad and proves Jesus is God? Let, let me give you uh, why I don't trust your Bible. Your Bible is... Corrupted, I cannot be. Okay, give me, give me the verses. Yeah, okay, give me. Okay. God can be seen. Give it to me. Just come on. God, God can be seen and heard. God can be seen and heard. Okay. Exodus 24, 9, 11. Beautiful. Now, now I give you, I will give you the one who God cannot be seen and invisible. Yes. John right. 1, 18. What, let's take just this one. 1 okay, Timothy. Ready? 1 Timothy 6, 16. Okay, then Let's deal with this one. Yeah. Let's read 1 Timothy 6, 14, 16. Let me read what it says. Let me read it for you. You mentioned 1 Timothy. I'll go to John 1. Every one of these are going to prove Muhammad is a liar and Jesus is the God of Muhammad. So thank you, Yahya. 1 Timothy 6, 14 and 16. Let's read it carefully, Yahya. To keep this commandment without blemish, blameless until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he, who? Jesus Christ, who is the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and Lord of lords, will reveal at the proper time. He, who's he? Verse 14, Jesus Christ, alone has immortality, living in unapproachable light, whom no one has seen nor can see. To him be honor and everlasting power. Amen. It's talking here about the light that Jesus wraps himself in that will blind you when you see it, which is what happened to Paul. So, Yahya, you quoted 1 Timothy 16, 16 in front of everyone. Do you agree with Paul? Jesus is the blessed only ruler, king of kings, lord of lords. He alone has immortality, and he dwells in unapproachable light, and you are to give him honor forever and ever. Do you agree? Do you think I'm that stupid? No, no, you don't agree. No, no, no. no. Do you think I'm that stupid? You that yes or no? He alone is immortal. Yes. And let me remind you. Didn't Jesus on the cross gave up his life and he was okay. mortal? Yeah, I'll answer that question. You're changing the topic. So no, no, I'm not changing thing. the topic. We are talking first, about first God. Verse 26. Let, let's first, I'll deal with the cross. You're going to get embarrassed. Like I said, this is the end of your religion and the end of your career as an apologist. Do you agree with Paul? Who quoted 1 Timothy 6.16? You did, not me. You quoted it. 
not me. So do you agree with Paul that Jesus in 1 Timothy, he alone has immortality who dwells in unapproachable light. He is our Lord who will come from heaven and that he's the only sovereign ruler, king of kings, the Lord of lords. Do you agree? Yes or no? Is the verse talking about the father, not no, the son? No, it isn't. In 14, it's talking Jesus about Christ. the father, not the son. No, it isn't. And let me, let me, let me, let me, let me say something. Let me say something. And John is the biggest lie and John, because according to Genesis 1, 1, 31, there's only one God who are creating and there was no such uh, existing for the world. The Why don't you listen? I, I'm no, talking. You're changing I'm talking. The subject. Wait. Uh, it's all related. It's your Bible who I'm exposing. JC, I'll, I look, I'm, I'm not JC. Yeah, I'm not like you. I'll answer Genesis 1. I'm not afraid like you. But you keep jumping. Stop one at a time. You went to 1 Timothy 6. You reject that because it refuted you. You brought up John 1.18. Do you want me to deal with John 1.18? Then I'll deal with Genesis 1 and John and further embarrass you. Do you, you brought up John 1.18. Can we deal with John 1.18? Can I ask you just one question? Go ahead. Did Jesus die on the cross or he is mortal and mortal? He is immortal who can die a human death and still be alive. What's so he's acting death. No. Yeah, yeah. Please don't insult my intelligence. Well, yeah, you are not intelligent. You are dumb. Right? You, you, can you answer the question? Yeah. Let me embarrass you now. Okay, can embarrass me. Answer, can I answer your question? Yeah, yeah. I'm not yeah. like you. I'm not a tap dancer. Let me answer yeah. your question. Answer. Okay. When you bring this question, you're either an ignoramus or you're a liar again. Because the Quran agrees with the Bible that when someone dies, he's still alive. Let me remind you from your false book that you believe. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 154. Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 154. And then Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verses 169 to 170. There it says, the martyrs, the shaheed who are killed, those who are killed in the way of your Lord, do not say they're dead. Nay, they're alive. See, again to you, they're acting dead. You see how stupid you sound when you talk like this? The Quran and the Bible agree that someone can die physically and still be alive. So let me show you what Jesus said. Yes, Jesus died physically, but because he's God, he's ever living so that he's still alive while his body is dead. Something that even your Quran agrees with. John 2 verses 19 to 22. The same John you've been quoting, John 1.18. Here, John 2, 19 and 22. Jesus, this is what he says. Jesus answered them, destroy this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up. I will raise it up. Then the Jews said, it has taken 46 years to build this temple, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking concerning the temple of his body. Therefore, when he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this to them. And they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had spoken. So Jesus, from the same gospel of John that you've been quoting, John 1, 18, you quoted. Jesus says, destroy this temple, I will raise it up. What temple? His body. How could Jesus raise his body back to life, Yahya, if Jesus wasn't still alive and conscious, even though his body was dead? So yes, he's immortal, can never die, but he took on a human body and experienced human death. While he was still alive, and because he's God, he raised that body to life, Yahya. Live with it. That's the Gospel of John. Live with it. Let me expose you, you as come. a big liar and uh, hear your father. Oh, well, thank you. Let me expo uh, expose you because Jesus, he didn't actually die for three days and three nights. Well, it was only two again. nights and one oh, day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, 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 you move with the goalpost. No, I listen to you. Yeah, okay, you move the goalpost again. Yeah, yeah come on hey, now. JC, you, you move the goalpost again. And JC, what you, can yeah. I just share this? It's already been close to three hours. This guy's the... So let's do wrap up. Yeah, he's... Let's he's, do wrap he's up. Badly. He humiliated himself. Let's wrap I up. Am, okay. Let's let this guy pack. Every